Today in episode five, I'm gonna walk you through one of the tools that I don't use as much as I probably should, but since finding out a little bit more about it, I'm using it quite a bit more often. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. I've went ahead and created an artboard already. I went 1080 by 1080 pixels. Create whatever size artboard you want. We're just doing practice at this point, so the artboard really doesn't matter. Now to access our paintbrush tool, we have two different options. We can either click on the paintbrush icon over here in the toolbar, or we can hit B on our keyboard. Basics of the tool, pretty simple to use. Click and drag wherever you want your line. If I want straight lines, I can hold down shift on my keyboard. And if I want to adjust the size of the brush that I'm painting with on the fly, I can use the left and right square brackets. If I use the right bracket, it goes smaller. If I use the left bracket, it goes larger. Now you'll see that it's actually adjusting the last line that I used, and that's because I have an option turned on to keep lines selected. So let's have a quick look at the options. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything we've got on our artboard. And again, to get to options for this, I'm gonna double click the icon in the toolbar, and that's gonna give me my paintbrush options. So right at the very top, we have fidelity. Fidelity is how accurate or how smooth your lines are. All the way over to the left here on accurate, and it's going to draw exactly the line that you have. It's also gonna add quite a few anchor points to that line. All the way to the right on smooth, it's going to clean your lines up and smooth them out for you really nicely and also reduce the number of anchor points that you have. I keep it in the middle because I'll show you a little trick that I use to smooth my lines out if I'm not happy with what I drew. Fill new brush strokes, just like what we talked about with the line segment tool in yesterday's video. I'll link that up in the top for you. This is going to give us a fill. Now right now we've got no fill on, but if you're going to continue on with your lines for this, and you know that it's a fill color that you're going to need down the road, you might as well select it before you start drawing and then make sure that this option is actually selected. If this isn't selected, even if you have a fill on here, it's not gonna use it. Keep selected, like I said, this is an option that I always have turned on because it keeps my previous line selected and that way I can go in and adjust it and make quick, if I'm, if I'm not happy, number one, I can just automatically delete it. I can just hit the delete key on my keyboard it's gone I can draw another line edit selected paths I'll show you how this one works as well so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select all of these and just keep them turned on so edit selected paths is going to number one if I keep it selected I can continue on with this path so if I want to draw more than just one line I can draw my line and I don't have to go in and select it or try and line up my anchor points I can continue with the brush and draw more lines so now that we have a fill on this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a line. Now there's a couple of little things that you need to know about using the brush tool and continuing lines. So if I draw this and I want to continue down here, that's fine. But if you notice, the little circle has actually stayed up by that previous axis. Now I don't know if this is a glitch in Illustrator. Uh, to me, I would say that's a glitch, that that little continuation should move with my paintbrush. So what I need to do is just kind of give it a little jiggle away from the line and then come back to it and you see what happens. So it's kind of picky with how you continue on. There it worked and then it stays up there again. So let's do this again and see now we can continue. So you almost need to be in the direction of where you want to go and it doesn't always close your path. So for me, it doesn't make sense to use this tool for creating shapes. I mean, you've got the pen tool, you've got the shaper tool. There's a lot better options if this is what you're looking to do. But I wanted to show you this functionality anyways. Let me show you one other thing. I was talking about before why I keep that option of keep selected on. Now I'm gonna get rid of these two because I don't want fills. And we're gonna keep our smooth kind of halfway in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a line that I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, but I'm kind of, oh geez, you know what? This should have been a little smoother and this should have been a little smoother. So now that I've got it drawn and it's still selected, I'm gonna hold down my Alt key or my Option key. And then I can go back over this line. You see how it's smoothing it out for me now? Without having to go in and actually select my smoother tool. So I want 
this smoother. I can just keep going over it and over it and over it and kind of work the line until I'm happy with how it turned out. All right, so that's the basics of the brush tool. Again, pretty simple to use once you start using it. I'm hoping these tutorials are helping you guys out. If they are and you're making things because of them, tag me on social media. You can find links to all of my social media accounts down in the description. There's a link tree link that'll take you to everything that I've got going on. All right, everybody, that's it for this one. I got to get back to work once again, shooting more videos, getting things prepped for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Have you subscribed yet? This is where to do it. If you want to see yesterday's video, it'll be right up here. I do this at the end of every video. Just a waste of 20 seconds of your life. And mine, I guess, too.